Hello friends, today is the 6th of April and we are going to the Juca Gorge. This is the longest gorge on the southern shore of Lake Issacol. There you can see everything that could be in the mountains. This is our favorite gorge and we are very sorry that we live so far from it. Now we are driving from Caracol and we begin recording from the village of Seru where the road turns from the highway towards the mountains. There are 45 kilometers from Caracol to the turn and about 12 from the turn to the gorge entrance. We will show you our entire journey without interruption. We made several short stops to take photographs, but the recording of the road was not changed or supplemented. Juca Gorge, unlike many others, is pretty accessible by car. That is why we started the new season of our mountain trips with it. So, the length of the Juku Gorge is about 50 kilometers. Perhaps in some sources you will come across other figures. The beginning and the end of the gorge are marked on maps at different points, and in general the local geography is very approximate. We ourselves sometimes consider the entrance to the gorge as that place where the barrier stands, and sometimes the place with red rocks that look like a gate. The Juku Gorge is often confused with another gorge, Jukachak. They have a common entrance, and then the long Juku branch goes to the right, and the short Jukachak branch goes to the left. If you hear that Juku has a waterfall and hot springs, don't be surprised. They are talking about neighboring Jukachak. That branch is good in its own way and worth a visit. We have a winter video from there, and we will definitely return there in the summer. But still, this is a completely different geographical object. Before this trip, we did not know what condition the road would be in after winter. We had already traveled here in summer and winter and had, more or less, an idea of where and what obstacles might await us. We had a very flexible plan for the trip and were ready to turn around halfway if something got in our way. Let's see what came out of it. Now is the very beginning of spring and we hope to see spring pictures. A unique combination of last year's red grass, completely snow-covered mountains, and a baby blue sky in the soft light of the sun breaking through light clouds. The gorge begins at an altitude of about 2,000 meters, gradually rises, and at the foot of the pass reaches 2,800. Then the climb becomes more intense. The road ends at an altitude of 3,700 meters. Further, you can walk or ride a bicycle. The road through the gorge has no artificial surface along its entire length. Even at the best time of the year, from July to September, a fair portion of the road is badly cracked and washed out. We suppose, those who live in the gorge in the summer, we mean owners of your camps and farmers, will patch up the road a little by the beginning of the summer season. But next spring it will be in the same condition. This road is very old. It was laid long before the advent of cars. According to rumors, in ancient times trade caravans traveled along it, and it was part of the Great Silk Road. We cannot confirm or deny this, and we don't want to. These mountains are much older than all world trade and, in general, all the peoples of the world. Among them, you somehow forget about such little things as several thousand years of human history. But you can't forget about the road. You have to watch it constantly. Driving through the gorge is not easy and not every car can handle it. In some places, good traction is required. In others, it is better to have good mud tires, high ground clearance, and generally high stability. But still, the bulk of the journey is surmountable for an average SUV. In summer and early autumn, you can try to get to the very end of the road. It ends at the Juku Pass between two mountain lakes. The most difficult part of the way is the ascent to the pass. The road there is narrow and completely covered with sharp stones. In some areas the stones are large, and you literally have to waddle over them. At the foot of the pass there is another difficult and unsafe section where the river spills over small pebbles. There is no road there at all. When we crossed this river last summer, we were not only helped by detailed maps of the area, but we were also lucky to guess the track and drive along it. If you try to cross the river in the wrong place, you can get thoroughly stuck and get out only with the help of special means. But these dangers lie in wait only at the very end of the gorge. And even if you don't want such adventures, yet almost 40 kilometers of incredibly diverse mountain views await you. The relief and width of the gorge are constantly changing. The same mountain peaks will open up to you in a completely new way on every ascent and descent. 
The Juca River, along which the gorge stretches, is like several different rivers that are not similar to each other. Now we just want to get to the foot of the pass and will not make any attempts to overcome the most difficult sections. The mountain trip season is still far away and at the beginning of April it will be just a great success not to skid on the melting snow, not to get stuck in liquid mud, not to encounter an extremely deep puddle, not to find the road completely washed out. And we also remember that three months ago, not far from here, on the border with China, several strong earthquakes occurred. Although they left almost no traces on the mountain roads we know, we can never say for sure. Due to the tremors, a small landslide could easily occur in any part of the gorge and block or destroy the road. By the way, last summer in beautiful weather, we were able to climb the pass only to the first lake. The road above this point was blocked with stones, and right before our eyes, an excavator was clearing it by throwing these stones down. You have to remember these things when you go to the mountains. And of course, you have to mean the weather. At any time of the year in the mountains, the weather can suddenly turn bad. But last fall, we went to Juku and faced a completely unexpected obstacle. The bridge across the river was closed, and most of the route was inaccessible. So today, we are ready for such surprises. However, we hope to open the season here. And, as you can see, today we managed to travel quite far and see many beautiful scenes. And you have the opportunity to see them without leaving your home. Watch our video and enjoy the wild nature at the very beginning of spring. And finally, some useful information. The description of our channel contains links to photos and videos taken during our trips, as well as many other works. All of them can be purchased for both personal and commercial use. Feel free to ask your questions and make your comments. Stay tuned for new trip videos. Subscribe to the channel. In the following films, we will show our way back and tell you why we had to turn around. And we will also visit the neighboring Jukachak Gorge. We wish you a pleasant viewing 